Okay, now we're gonna build the um, cam and follower mechanism. So I've taken my crank and slider apart, except I left this metal framework together, just like I had for the crank and slider, and I left it attached to my build plate. And that's where we're gonna build our cam and follower. So the first step is you need this flat rectangle metal piece, and we're gonna attach it onto the front of our framework here. And it really doesn't matter where you attach it, anywhere along there is gonna work just fine. I'm going to use some blue screws, and I'm gonna put one in the top corner with a hex nut on the back side. And then I'm gonna put one down here in the bottom corner with a hex nut on the back side. I can't quite get my fingers in there. I'm just gonna move it up one spot to where I can get my fingers in there. All right, tighten them up with the uh, X driver. Okay. My rectangle piece is leaning forward a little bit so I'm just going to give it a little push to push it back so it's in a straight line. You want it to be a nice straight line going up and down. Okay, So you can see I just put one blue screw up here, one blue screw in the bottom corner and attached them with uh, nuts on the back side. Okay so next we're going to put the bushing in and we're going to put that in with green screws. So I'm gonna put one in right here on the front and then I'll need one on the back as well. So put a couple green screws in there. And hex nuts on the back side of that. Tighten it with the hex driver. Okay, so now I'm going to need another bushing on the back side directly across from that first black bushing. All right, so I got out my bushing, some green screws. I'm gonna go right here, directly behind that first bushing. Put some hex nuts on the back side.
All right, so now you can see my bushing in the front and the back are lined up for my axle. Okay, now the next step is you're going to need this gray piece. It's going to go up here. And you're going to want uh, green screws to put that in. But there is another piece you will need also to get that bracket to fit just right. You're going to need these tiny little black plastic spacers and they're going to go between the bracket and the metal like this so that the bracket sticks out just a little bit. Okay, now So we're going to put it here over to the right side, left side, sorry. I was looking at it back from the back side. So it's going to go over here to the left side of this big metal plate. Okay, so you want the left side of the gray on the left side of the metal plate. And that will get everything to line up just right. If you go on the right side of the metal plate, this piece as it slides up and down will get caught in this little crevice right here. So we want to go over here. All right, so this is a little bit tricky because you got a, a lot of pieces here. You're going to take a green screw and put it through here and then put the black spacer on the back side. And I'm going to do that in this corner as well. So that there's a black Hard to keep everything on there like I said there we go so you can see the black plastic spacer is on both of those screws all right and we're going to put it into the metal right there I left two empty holes up above my gray bracket here all right and then you're gonna put hex nuts on the back side again Tighten them up. All right. Now you're going to need your axle. Still have my collar on it from the last mechanism. I'm going to take that off because I don't know exactly where I want it. So I'm going to take my axle and put it through the bushing. All the way through and then my green uh, this it was the crank for the crank and slider now it's the cam for the cam and follower we'll go here oh whoops I've got it on there backwards I was just looking at the one that I've already made we actually want it to face this way so you want just like this okay this rounded part goes to the right if you put it in the other way that green bracket will get this green follower will get stuck in there all right so I'm gonna push it on there just a little bit so that I have room for a collar. Tighten that. And a collar on the back side. Oh, whoops. 
Uh, I forgot. Take that. I just took that collar back off so I can slide this piece out, but I left my axle on there. Okay, I forgot. You want to take this green piece here. It's got the little wheel on the bottom. All right, and that we want to actually put that in the bracket first. So just slide that up into the bracket first and hold it up there, and then take the cam and go ahead and slide it back in there. Put your collar on the back side again. Put your handle on the back side. And there you have it. Cam and follower. Notice it cannot go this way. It can only turn one direction. 